Welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Let's talk about this crazy thing called voltage drop. Don't let that term scare you. The best way to explain voltage drop is the garden hose analogy. If you have a 25 foot long hose and then you have a 100 foot long hose and you turn the water pressure on at the same time, the pressure is going to be a lot stronger at the 25 foot hose than it is at the 100 foot hose. There's a lot more resistance for the water to travel through 100 feet as opposed to 25 feet. Electricity is the same way. The longer the run, the more the resistance you have in the circuit, the less energy or voltage you are going to get at the load. Improper voltage can cause harm to the equipment it is supplying or cause it to not work at all. Most devices or equipment can operate safely at plus or minus 5% variance. To operate efficiently, you want to be in that 3% range. So how do you know when you are going to experience voltage drop? Without getting into a bunch of equations, there is always a good rule of thumb to follow. For every 100 feet, you need to upsize your wire one wire size. If you're running a circuit out to your garage that is 300 feet away, and that circuit is only a 20 amp circuit, then you need to upsize that wire three times. Normally, you would run a number 12 wire for a 20 amp circuit. That's not going to cut it here. In this case, you have to run number six wire to account for your voltage drop. Number six wire is three wire sizes up from number 12. This will assure that anything you use will operate safely and efficiently. If you have any questions or want one of our virtual electricians to check your math, go to thevirtualelectrician.com to schedule an appointment. Also, check out our other videos about wire opacity and load calculations.